good morning students welcome to the geography class and uh, i'd like to uh, summarize this lesson 3 today and um, discuss uh, you might have seen in the notice or the message that i have sent uh, with reduced page numbers reduced page numbers. syllabus is the same page numbers are reduced and so just to um, remind the things that are there about the the weather weather is uh, when we speak weather we also uh, uh, include the climate because they are uh, they go hand in hand weather and climate so what is weather and what is climate you need to understand that uh, for that you have the uh, the weather and climate there is a there is a what call the difference between the weather and climate there is a uh, difference uh, uh, written okay what is the difference between weather and climate next one is the uh, next one is the yes weather and climate in the next page that is page number 40 you see the difference between the weather and climate you need to uh, learn this okay next one is the elements of weather what are the elements what are the factors that uh, affect or that compose that constitute or that make weather and climate okay in that there is a um, point temperature atmospheric pressure wind humidity precipitation cloud formation and sunshine okay these are the elements these are the 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 factors that affect or cause weather formation and climate climate formation weather and climate formation temperature then in temperature also it is a, um, uh, just remember the points okay temperature it differs temperature differs according to the altitude um, latitude latitude altitude distance from the sea wind slope of land the formation of land whether it is slope or plain oceanic current and cloud formation these factors are there to cause temperature next one is the uh, so the, there are there is a, a, a description Um, latitude altitude distance from the sea all this are therefore it is quite vast next one is the uh, next one is the uh, this i am not going to discuss atmospheric pressure next one is the atmospheric pressure what are the factors that uh, what is atmosphere for either for that you need to know what is atmosphere once you know what is atmosphere then you need to know the atmospheric pressure okay whenever we um, uh, read or learn about the atmosphere the pressure has to be there pressure so pressure and temperature are inversely related that means you cannot separate pressure and temperature in the atmosphere you cannot separate it and so always i say that uh, the the high temperature causes low pressure high temperature causes low temperature low temperature causes high high, uh, high pressure this is the method okay and with that it is there are the pressure depending on the what are the factors that affect the pressure what are the factors they are involved in causing the pressure that is altitude again once again altitude then temperature water vapor content in the air and the rotation of the earth see when our earth is not static it's always on move always in motion and so you know the three uh, the two motions of the of the earth and so you need to uh, just uh, go through this one okay i am not going to ask you the pressure belt pressure belt here pressure we are going but then i am not going to ask the pressure belt this side because um, it is a little confusing confusing in the sense uh, you may uh, take little more time to understand this one okay uh, different uh, subtropical uh, temperate equatorial low temperature polar high pressure all these things uh, need to uh, be understood well 
okay so therefore uh, only partially i am taking the the pressure atmospheric pressure next one is the 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 shifting of the pressure belt also is not much only you need to know the humidity uh, uh, on the point um, uh, shifting of the pressure belt you need to know the humidity humidity what is humidity and what is evaporation you need to know okay and what are the the things that are so in that on page number seven, uh, 47 please read this one nicely about the humidity and evaporation sublimation all these things are there and condensation so these three points you need to concentrate on that is humidity evaporation and condensation that's is that right okay next one is the the precipitation precipitation okay precipitation precipitation different so different forms of precipitation please note that tick it uh, different forms of precipitation and types of rainfall and types of rainfall you need to consider uh, here um, uh, uh, this uh, then then comes next comes is the the different types of wind current wind and uh, and air current wind and wind current uh, are there okay wind and wind current so which is permanent which is uh, periodic which is low wind current all these things this i have given the page number yes 53 53 54 and um, uh, yes uh, 53 54 only this yes, i think i have given 55 also just you see that is the about the the wind wind pressure and uh, we, uh, wind and the wind air current air current please read that types especially the types okay so these are the things that i i would like to highlight on this lesson for you so that it is uh, easy okay if you have uh, noted down you have a ticket on the book it will be easy for you okay wish you all the best